So here we are in reason five. And in this tutorial, we're going to be concentrating on the new Dr. Octorex loop player. Now, if you're a seasoned reason user and familiar with previous versions of the application, it's very likely you'll be familiar with the Dr. Octorex's predecessor, the Dr. Rex loop player. Now I'll bring this up. And this is just a screenshot, but you can see the similarities between the two devices. The display is pretty similar and the synthesis engine is almost identical in nature. The major difference is that the Dr. Octorex is now capable of playing eight loops and housing eight loops. So this really tidies up busy reason projects and allows you to have all sorts of variations and different grooves loaded at once in one device. Also our display and editing system has changed and there's generally more parameters. And of course, if you didn't already notice, it's also changed in color. Now, if you're a beginner and you're not aware of the Dr. Rex, or you know nothing about the Rex format, don't worry, we're gonna be looking at every single detail in the coming videos. And I'm gonna explain pretty much every parameter on the Dr. Octorex and show you real world examples as we go. But all you really need to know is that this is a really great loop mangling tool and it's going to allow us to resynthesize, chop up our grooves and rearrange them to give you whole new creations and bring new life to your loop library. But for now, let's take a look at the basics. In the next video, I'm going to show you the Octorex's two-part interface and how the two different parts interact with each other and what can be achieved in using each one of them.